Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology forecast for Thursday, March 12th, 2020. All right, so today we have the moon finishing grounded Virgo, which has been the theme these past few days. So still a good day for doing the work, um, anything that requires improvements, refinements, and ultimately creating a facilitative environment for ourselves and also for others is a great way of working with the moon here. So no major aspects going exact here today, but we do have the moon opposite Venus and Uranus. So a good day for bringing maybe some balance, balance to our relationships, maybe to our enjoyments, and balance with wanting some freedom perhaps. Um, good to see healthy ways of having that freedom and uh, spontaneity, which could make it a bit of an exciting day if uh, channeled consciously. So with this, we're kind of in between aspects this week. We have the Sun sextile Jupiter from earlier in the week, which could still be coming in, which could give us a little bit of maybe uh, of an abstract mind, maybe a little bit of adventurousness. Um, but going into the weekend, we have Mars sextile Neptune, which we may start to feel today, which could give us a bit of receptivity when we are taking action. Maybe more willingness to go with the flow, being more receptive to life uh, could be a great way of working with this uh, weekend energy. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail for our return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations as seen in the visible sky. This does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out the link down below, especially if you do notice some of the signs that I'm mentioning um, are different than where they are in mainstream. Uh, down below is that link. Do check that out for more information. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon in Virgo, which has been the theme these past uh, few days, really, with Virgo being such a large constellation. Uh, but finishing up here today. So great to you know continue to get in touch with this improvement-oriented side of ourself. Virgo is the side that does want to strive towards perfection, refinement, you know, really get into the details of what can be you know, improved. And so uh, still really good to get in touch with that side of ourself. Um, anything that does require the work, self-discipline, or creating a facilitative environment uh, for ourself and others makes this a great way of working with this um, part of the lunar month. And we are still in the heightened phase of the lunar cycle since we had that full moon earlier this week on Monday. So um, still good to maybe notice some momentum with things in our life and maybe implement some things that came to our awareness since Monday. And since then, we've had the sun shift into receptive Pisces. So the larger context has been about going into the deeper water realms. Um, collectively, we're viewing life through the lens of receptivity, through the lens of what's important to us on a soul level and um, how we can access some of that water within ourselves. So really good to do this in the larger context for roughly the next month, month and a half, uh, which is getting in touch with that receptive side, intuitive, uh, maybe spirituality, rest, imagination, you know, creativity, these kinds of receptive things, really good with the sun uh, making its long transit of a very large constellation of Pisces. And, um, you know, since we are still in this, you know, somewhat full moon phase, it is, of course, still a good time for balancing um, these energies. So in this case, how can we cultivate some of this receptivity while at the same time do the work? right with the physical structures because uh, these are both um, you know constellations that are opposite each other Virgo Pisces which is about finding the balance between the physical and spiritual between physical health and spiritual health uh, between doing the work with Virgo and then you know uh, not you know getting rest or spiritual time and things like that so great time of finding the balance uh, between striving towards improvement but at the same time, surrendering what's outside of our control as we do attune to the fact that, you know, there, there are things that are much larger than ourselves that we can be more receptive to. All right. So no major aspects going exact here today, but we're kind of in between aspects this week. We may still feel the sun sextile Jupiter from earlier this week from yesterday. So this can still give us maybe a little bit of an abstract mind, making it good for philosophy, uh, spirituality you know, these kind of higher wisdom, abstract kind of things, maybe even a little bit of adventurousness or inspiration. Um, but as we get into tomorrow, we'll start to maybe feel this Mars sextile Neptune, which can give us a bit of receptivity and an easier way to work with. Uh, Mars is the side of ourself that does want to take action, 
and does want to pursue our needs. Um, and Neptune is that Piscean kind of energy of being more receptive. So a little bit of a harmony there. Nothing major with these sextiles, but they're just kind of openings. And I think going into the weekend, there could be an opening to, uh, yeah, maybe put some action or energy towards some things that we can approach a little bit more receptively. You know, it's really good for uh, compassion, understanding, uh, sort of going with the flow, being more attuned, and maybe even putting some energy into some ideals of ours. Uh, this weekend can be great. All right, but other than that, uh, no major aspects today. We do have some oppositions with the moon um, and Uranus and Venus. So good to maintain some balance with wanting freedom in our life. Anything we can do to maybe create some healthy change and um, you know freedom and excitement and conscious ways could be good. And also maybe enjoy some things with our relationships in balanced ways and just enjoyments in general, just having a bit of um, you know awareness of how we can enjoy them. Uh, with a bit of conscious attention and balance. All right, but uh, other than that, um, yeah, the most important thing here today is finishing up this Virgo energy, which is about improvement, refinement, you know, focusing on the details while balancing that with the receptive side of ourself, which is in the larger context of deep watery Pisces, which is great for connecting to the things that are important to us on a soul level and receptive level. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow for the weekend forecast. Take care.